Okay, guys, Mr. Bellion here. Uh, we're going to get into ArchiCAD, and we're going to do some work towards um, adding some pot lights and rendering our shots, okay? This is an old, um, I mean, we're doing the condo, two-bedroom condo for our grade 10 summative, so I thought I'd add some details in terms of lighting. All the planning has been done, you've been approved, you're ready to go to the next stage. Now we need to use the 3D application as a tool for our realization. Okay, so let's do this. Um, where are you, ArchiCAD? Down here. All right, so I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to pick a spot. Uh, let's see, the bedroom here. Um, let's see, what do we got so far? I've got a, got an entryway. I come in, um, closet. I threw this in a little pocket here. I have an option of going to the bathroom, guest bedroom, little workout, um, office room, and on the right, kitchen, living room. To that, entrance into the master, the walk-in closet, two-sided fireplace, and a crazy amount of master bathroom in terms of scale and size. Whatever, all good. Uh, excuse all these cameras. I'm just going to delete one right now. And what I'm going to do perhaps, I'll just delete these lights right here. Okay, I'm just going to hold shift. Um, yeah, let's just get rid of these lights and I'll put them in again, okay? Uh, before I delete that, what I'll do is I'll take this, uh, I'll select actually here, um, this camera, right click and show selection in 3D. Let's take a look at what we have. Okay, so this is pretty cool. What I've done is I put a bunch of pot lights inside um, the, here, uh, the kitchen area, drop ceiling, and some pot lights here. Okay, now notice because of this is a 3D app, I'm just bringing these down a bit. I'm having issues with the lights. So it's okay to have a reveal. You don't have to have them flush. I can take them two, two inches higher, which works as well. So let's go from um, how to set this up. So we have a 3D view. And normally you guys will go to Documents, uh, Creative Imaging, and Photo Render Projection, or to the Settings. Okay, so if I go to Photo Render, this is going to take about two minutes, and I'll talk you through it. Ooh, that's also my background. Maybe I'll go through that as well with you guys. Okay, so you can see um, quickly this is coming up. A faster method uh, for you would be in here. Okay, so when you're in the Photo Render Settings, just click on this icon. It'll give you a rough estimate as to, um, you know, um, well, how the end result is going to be. Look how nice this is already, okay? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all these lights. Then we'll get into it, okay? Let me just pause this quickly, and then we'll come back when this rendering is done. Okay, so here's the shot. Okay, pretty cool. You can see my open concept kitchen with the bar over here, access to the bedroom, uh, the master, and the guest suites off through this opening. Okay, pretty nice. So I'm going to do, I'm going to put all this in with you right now. Okay, so the cool thing about this is you can hit Command S or Control S on your device. On your, here we go. Sick man, can't even talk. All right, so what I'm going to do uh, on your computer, clearly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is call this my um, kitchen, whatever kitchen shot and it's amazing like it forces you to say right and if I try closing it without trying to press um, command s it will ask you to save it okay so that's great I love that that's in the system okay like I was saying earlier I'm in the arrow tool here and I'm just gonna delete these lights boom hold shift let's do this faster and here and delete Okay, I'm just going to click once on. So anytime you select any of these objects, you go to the uh, preferences or its settings actually, and and see what what I've done here. So my ceiling's pretty high. This is a very high, and condo. So I think my ceiling's about 11 feet. So I put these at 10 foot four. Okay, so from ground to top, uh, below ceiling is 10 foot four. That's the that's the goal. And notice as well that this one because I have a drop ceiling. If I double click here. It's at eight foot eleven. Pretty cool, right? So you can you can control the height of uh, the placement. Okay, so come on in, welcome. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is under more, and some of you may not see this all the time. So under more, you're going to click on where's my lovely lamp here, lamp, and you can double click here, and and then I'm just going to type in lights, for example. Oops. Okay, there we go. I'm going to type in lights. Wait for it. Really, it's taking a little too long for my liking. Uh, let's see, I think it's somewhere down here. And for the first time, if, if you haven't selected this already, so I'm using this one, Halogen Recess 17, okay? And this one's nice too, actually, the Spotlight. They're both really cool. So what you need to do is um, select Download and Embed. And it'll go online, it'll go to the uh, uh, cloud storage for this uh, item and download it for you. Hence, there it is, okay? So X marks the spot, I've mentioned this to you guys before. All right, and there it is, okay? So, uh, right now, 10 foot six, um, that's fine. 
Well, let's just pop some lights in here, okay? And what I'm going to do is uh, perhaps one here, and one by the opening here, right? Somewhere over here, and one more over here in the center, okay? Not perfectly aligned, but watch this. I'll do something else too. I'll give you an align tool as well. Um, I'm going to go to the arrow tool. And let's see what the what, what was the height on this one? Temp at four, beautiful. And remember, awesome. So I'm going to select this one, hold shift, and I want to line all these, okay? So hold shift, two, three, four. Mac or PC, no difference. Windows. And I'm going to go to edit and align center. Let's uh, so go left side. Mm, let's go center. Boom, center, sweet. And then I can hold shift, up arrow, boom, boom. Look at that. Nice, right? Not bad, right? It's not bad. It's centered in here. I'm happy. So again, shift up, arrow down. Watch this. One, two. One, two up. One, two left. One, two right. Okay, so that's cool. That's the align tool. All right, so I put those lights in, and I'm going to pretend that I don't have these settings, and I don't have this camera in here. Delete. Bye-bye. You two. See ya. I just click once. Okay, so I'm going to come in here right now. I'm holding my middle scroll button, and I'm going to select a shot maybe um, from here to there. You don't have to close the door. Perfect. All right, so let's do this. Take a camera from down here under More, right? We love the camera. So we're going to come and click here. Um, should we do it this way? No, I'm going to shoot the same way. From here, point and shoot. That's it. So now I'm going to go, okay, so if you don't know how to right click and all that, you can always look on the right on your navigator project map here okay check it out normally it would be under untitled okay so check this out 3d untitled path so I have these all open so I'm assuming this last one was the right one I'm not sure it could be another shot that's my shot okay now um, these are a little higher than the other ones hey eh? look at that I can, I can actually select these in my 3d view I notice you guys doing that too so um, let me just render this right now and see how it goes. This may not work that well because I think it needs to come down lower. Okay, so what we'll do is go to Document, Creative Imaging, and let's go to Photo Render Settings. Okay, so uh, wait for it. Here it comes. Okay, normally you're not going to have any of this up here. Okay, you don't like this. Always the background's hidden because it's all the way down here. Okay, um, so what I'll do um, right now, I'm going to go to Custom. Okay, so you're all going to start. Select and manage scene. At this point, what's really cool is ArchiCAD has all these beautiful settings for us under photo rendering scenes, okay? Is it an indoor scene? Is it an outdoor scene? It's not outdoor, so let's close that. Indoor, daylight, HDRI, don't even touch. Let's say lamps only, okay? So at this point, I want this to be a night shot. And whatever you do in school, please, on, do not go with final, okay? This will take forever. So let's just go with medium. Um... You know what? I would do fast too, most often, but we want this to look good to the this for this video. So I'm just going to go indoor lamps only, okay? And press OK. That's all I'm doing. All right? And see what comes up here. What I've noticed through my playing around, I don't set if, my, if I set the lights at 100, it's going to be super, super bright. Okay, so I normally reduce that to 50, but again, we don't know that at this point. I'm going to click on this replay or this, you know, to. Look at that. So you see how strong things are right now? Ooh, yeah. It's a little strong, right? Maybe. So let me try this out. Come in here. 50. Saint count. There you go. One more over here. And illumination. Um, let's do that too. And then shoot again. Okay, we'll see what's going to happen here. And we'll see how it's going to go. Okay, a little mood lighting. Ooh, maybe too dark. Who knows, right? Let's check this out for real. So at this point, you're going to go at the bottom. Now, you guys um, remember the background. I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to press render. In the meantime, I'll pause for the cause and be back. Okay, guys, here we go. That took about 2 minutes and 10 seconds. Okay, so you can see um, the effect of the pot lights and physically they're a little too high in the ceiling, so I have to drop them a bit. However, the mood is fantastic. It's um, I like the look of this. Um, and so we'll, we'll, do, we'll continue with this, all right? Um, I like that it comes down a bit. I know that's not... Um, everyday practice. We don't do that in industry. We want it to be flush. So it'd be more of a rim. It needs to go down another inch or so. However, overall lighting in here, I think it's fantastic. I love it. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly hit Command S here and save the shot. Uh, let's call this hallway, whatever, kitchen, kitchen 2. 
All right, so that's done. Uh, let's look at our plan for a minute. I'm going to close this up here. Okay, so this was cool, right? 50% was much better. So feel free to play around and test this out, okay? Again, all I did is I went under here, and I went to select and manage scene, and then you took you shoot daylight or night or however you want to go. All right, so let me take a shot looking out this time, okay? And I'll go to camera again, and I'm going to show you how to create a background um I'm going to add a background image to my shot. Okay, so I'm going to be in the hallway here. I enter my first... Okay, come on. Click once. Drag. Always on an angle. Boom. Let's see how that goes. Okay? If you want to select this, select. And then try to bring it down this way. Okay? And if you want to move this somewhere else. Yeah. So remember, if you, if you just press this tool, then you're moving the whole thing. We don't want to do that. We want this tool here where we can actually um, point... It's like an elastic band, okay? So here's my little uh, camera, and it's number five, I believe. Camera five, so here it is. So I'm gonna move, I'm gonna come in more, actually. I'm gonna get in here. That's kind of cool, I'm gonna see my hallway there. Um, anyway, the goal of this shot at this point is to add a background, okay? Um, I'm gonna also check out the height on this one and come over here. Guys, somebody get the door, please. Thank you. So this is... Let <coughs> me... Rough shape here. 10 foot 4. So if that's 10 foot 4... What is this one? I thought this was 10 foot 4, too. Oh, 10 foot 6. I get it. All right, cool. So here's what you can do. So if you select uh, lamp, for example, and um, command A, all the lights are selected. Pretty cool, right? Nice. At this point, I only want to select uh, this one here. 1, 2, and 3. And I want to change them to 10 foot 6. So back over here in settings, uh, actually drop it by 2 inches, 4. Boom. Okay, so that'll be cool. Um, let's see if I can also select the camera now and move it in here somewhere. Something like that. Okay, and maybe the shot is towards the fireplace. Who knows? Um, camera angles would be good to change to the cone. Um, that's just, I'm going to keep it simple. You guys are in grade 10. Okay, so here's my shot. Uh, not bad. I think this is boring here because that's a wall. Not liking that. Um, how about, oh, here we go. Straight on shots. Ooh, Balian. We're losing our creativity today, guys. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Camera 5, double click. Oh my god. Yeah, I can't do these uh, one point perspective shots. However, let's do it. Anyway, okay, so the lights are all even in here. I can do a drop ceiling in here for you guys. It would be more fun, I think, just a little bit. Whatever. It's all good. Let's just render this, okay? Um, here's the part that I'm going to add to the previous one. So background, okay? And normally, because this is so low down here, we don't know, normally notice that when this um, the setting panel opens up, it's all the way in the bottom. <coughs> Pardon me. So you have to really look for it. Background, and normally it starts with none, right? So that's okay. So why don't we go to image, right? Image. Here we go. Image, background, cool. Let's see what you got. Okay, so photos 1024. I'm going with this one for now. And and you've got, oh baby, you got lots. Sky. So I'm going to take the one with the trees, okay, that you saw earlier. But you can see the selection. All I'm doing is pressing the arrow up and or down. Okay, so this one, I'm liking that. So bring that in. Okay, so take this uh, refresh arrow going. Click it. And we'll see what we got. There it is. Ha ha. Love it. So what I'll do right now is take a red ring and pause the video from down here. Same settings. I haven't changed anything. Okay. So it's still nighttime, but the daylight image outside is kind of cool, right? Another thing is you can actually move this around. I don't know why we're getting that beach ball for. Not cool. Okay. Press uh, camera, photo render, and I'll pause. Okay. Cool. Okay, we're back. Here it is. Uh, the running took uh, under two minutes, so pretty nice, right? I added a wood material here just for fun, make it warmer. Uh, so you see the reveal? Obviously, it could be a little in, an inch higher for the light, but that's okay. I'm liking the look of this, right? So um, under two minutes, nice rendering. Again, save and call this uh, living room. And then, okay, another thing I guess I haven't got into. Oops. Cancel living room two then. How's that? Boom. Done. Okay. Um, there are additional settings here, guys. Um, don't want to make this too complicated for you guys for now. Um, we can even get into high quality rendering in terms of how many pixels per inch and all that kind of stuff. But for now, uh, you know, I think that's pretty cool. I like this. What else can I think of at this for this video for you guys? Um, so the camera, the lights, 
um, looking good here. And let's see, what else can I add? I think this is pretty good for this video. I'm looking at the list of stuff that you guys want me to uh, record. Okay, so let's say for now, this is good enough in terms of uh, rendering. Again, just another review here, custom, um, select and manage scene, so on, right? So you come in here. Uh, I'm using indoor right now. You guys can go daylight if you're shooting from outside and all that. Um, I'm going to keep this short, and we'll go from there. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Bowing out. Bye-bye.